This week's conference, after all, is about bringing an end to sexual violence in conflict. The man who pulled me into the van showed me a knife and put his finger to his lips to tell me to be quiet. We drove for about three hours. I was convinced I would never see my child and parents again. I thought they were going to take me somewhere and kill me. The road started off smooth, and then it would get bumpy, and then smooth again, and so on, until we stopped. The sliding door of the van opened, and I was pulled out and led for a short distance. I heard keys, then a door open. They pushed me inside and took off my blindfold and gag and untied my hands. I found myself alone in a small dark room. There was no furniture, no toilet, no bed. I could hear other women screaming in pain. And I believed at first that it was a special detention place for women. When I was moved to a second room, I started hearing male voices crying and screaming as well. I heard this all the time, day and night. When I heard women screaming, I often heard them using the Tamil word, ama, meaning mother. I would hear banging noises coming from the same place and male voices that sounded angry. They used swear words in Sinhala. Since, I cried and screamed like that when I was being tortured and abused. I thought they must be being tortured and sexually assaulted like me. 